You heard it, saw it, probably even felt it. The howling wind, pounding rain, and even hail that peppered San Diego County today. And there is a lot of snow up in our local mountains. We have a first look at your microclimate forecast in just a moment. First, though, today's crazy weather. Toppled trees caused power outages and caused other damage. News 8 Steve Price shows us what else was affected by the wild weather. A bizarre storm hit our county Monday. Wind gusts topping 50 miles an hour in several areas. Outdoor dining tents like this, no match for Mother Nature, who threw several surprises our way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hail from San Carlos to Carlsbad and several spots in between. It took winter a while to get here this year, but now it's quickly making up for lost time. Trees blocking roads, falling on cars and trucks, and in Point Loma crashing into a carport that then collapsed onto multiple vehicles. We also had calls of power lines knocked down, with sdg &E reporting thousands of customers losing power. And in National City, a shopping center sign toppled over. Our officers are going call to call to call. For CHP officers, the chaos started before the sun came up. This happened on the 805 in National City. Luckily, no one was seriously injured. Big rig hit the uh, center of wall and hit, him, hit another vehicle and uh, ended up jackknife, uh, blocking several lanes for for a few hours. The weather so nasty, the county had to shut down its vaccination superstation near Petco Park. It's like we're not going to get our vaccinations. Unfortunately, not today. It is San Diego to police there. delivering the bad news as drivers showed up for their appointments. It's just frustrating. Gary and Karen Green were turned away at 7 a.m., then came back later hoping the site would reopen, but no such luck. Just trying to get the appointment and not being able to get it. You know, finally you get it and then it's called off. So yeah. very frustrating. The county officials say this superstation will also be closed Tuesday morning because heavy rain is in the forecast. News that's disappointing, but Gary understands these conditions make doing even simple tasks difficult. I couldn't even open either door to the, to, outside. to the outside. The wind was so strong. Very strong. So I would say, it, based on the tents here, I would say it probably made, a, it probably made some sense. Those who had appointments will get emails telling them they've been rescheduled for Thursday. Steve Price, News 8.